start. Okay. Hello, I'm uh, Tom Forrestal. I'm an artist and an artist for many years. And I'm judging uh, the, uh, the plein air um, paintings for the uh, Parisbro uh, uh, exhibition of uh, plein air paintings for the, for the summer of uh, 2020. Uh, sadly, because of the, uh, the pandemic, we haven't been able to uh, do it directly. Uh, so I will uh, do it electronically, so to speak. Uh, I want to thank the, um, the art lab in Paris Bro and uh, Michael Fuller, the director and his uh, associates there, uh, for putting faith in me to uh, do the job. Uh, it's, uh, it's an honor and a pleasure for me to do it. It wasn't easy, and uh, I was kind of hesitant about it. But anyway, I want to thank them for that. I also want to thank uh, my son, Frank Forrestal, for doing the electronics, uh, the electronics, I guess we can put it that way, and uh, the video and all that uh, to get us through it. Without Frank, I, uh, I would have been, uh, <laughs> perhaps had to give it up. Uh, I am, as the saying goes, rogue kill on the information highway. Nothing to be proud of. But anyway, uh, let's get on to it that now the the um, there were the uh, the three uh, prizes first uh, second and third uh, best in the show was the uh, night scene on the siding on the railway it it uh, it struck me right away as, as, as beautifully done and conceiving and a feeling of light and the feeling of night I also liked it just for the subject matter something we'd uh, all see and would walk right by and not even notice it. But it, in that light, it became uh, a marvelous uh, a bit of painting. I thought it was a beautiful, a beautiful work. I must say, when I'm picking out uh, them, I don't go by who's better and who's worse. I mainly look at the development of the artist and what, uh, how they see, how their art has developed over perhaps many, for many years, and perhaps other artists haven't developed as much. This, uh, this was a beautiful painting too, and I have uh, gone to such places in many ways, and waterfalls and so on, and the sound, you can almost hear the sound of the uh, water gushing down over, and the light on it is beautifully done. Uh, I, uh, it was a, a lovely, a beautiful little painting, and, uh, and uh, painted that feeling that you're right there on the spot. It was a very nice one, and uh, I'm delighted to award it the uh, second prize. Okay, now we come to the uh, the third prize, and it's uh, particularly when I liked watercolor. I painted watercolor for many, many years, uh, 50, 60 years, 70 years, whatever. Anyway, and this is a beautiful water, beautifully free, uh, spontaneous watercolor, uh, luminous, uh, that English uh, style, that luminous uh, and lack of uh, opaque uh, quality. It's a beautiful painting, and... Uh, I feel it justified in having uh, the third prize. Now for the best in light. Uh, this was difficult because there were so many of them that had beautiful light in them and there were a lot of close ones and I really uh, hummed and hawed and changed around. But this one, I mind you, I, I don't go to the tropics that much, but I've spent some time in in, uh, in the tropics, working and painting and so on, and uh, uh, it it had a remarkable light about it, and I think that beautiful uh, combination of that bluish sky and those orange colors in the uh, the blowing palm trees, it, it just uh, it just sparkled, and it it gave that feeling of light and that, that wispy feeling of how the painter uh, brushed the things on rather spontaneously the feeling of the breeze blowing through it. It's a beautiful painting and I felt it was the There again, it was, it was a tough one. Now the best, the best uh, nocturne, the night one, uh, was another difficult one. There were some beautiful nocturnes, including the one, of course, who got the first prize. But there, there were other beautiful uh, night ones and, uh, and I hesitated over that too and I went hummed and hawed and back and forth and looked back and forth. But there was something about this one. There again, it was actually a, a combination of that blue and orange, you might say. And then the tone of the, of the thing, that bright uh, interior light 
uh, inside the stores. I was all walked along a store and seen them. And they have, it certainly looks like a store. It must be a store, or almost a store in Paris. Well, I'm sure it is. But anyway, it's a beautiful piece, and I uh, I uh, felt it deserved the uh, the uh, prize for the best nocturne.